Welcome new students and families to the PTSA's New to IHS Video Presentation 2020. We're excited that you can join us to learn more about what it is like to be a student at Itzville High. I'm Birgit Aristad. And I'm Kim Wilkinson. Together, we're presidents of the PTSA. Issaquah High PTSA supports our students, staff, and school through programs such as Angel Closet, College and Career Preparation, and Staff Appreciation. Last year, we gave out $10,000 in academic grants, $5,000 in senior scholarships, and $100 to each teacher in material reimbursement. You can learn even more at issaquahighptsa.org. We'd love all of our families to be more involved with the PTSA. Follow us on social media, join us at one of our many events, or even join a committee. No matter how you decide to participate, we'd love to have you. We've taken the best parts from previous year's presentations and are bringing them to you now. You'll hear from Principal Andrew McCormick, our new Activities Director and Student Panel. First up, Principal Andrea McCormick. Hello and welcome new IHS Eagles. We are so excited to have you joining us at IHS. I'm Andrea McCormick, the Principal of Issaquah High School. And I just wanted to share with you that we are here for you in this weird remote time, and we're gonna do our best as a school to make sure that you still have an amazing freshman year. And we plan on providing all kinds of resources to support learning at home, and just know that we're all gonna be in this evolving situation uh, that keeps changing on us minute to minute, but we're here with a growth mindset, and we're committed to serving you in the best way possible, even in this crazy time. And uh, the best thing that you can do is just stay connected to the school and all of this uh, changes that we're encountering. So uh, be on your email and check our website regularly because we'll be pushing out all kinds of cool resources for you, support, um, and exciting uh, community building events as well. So uh, looking forward to meeting you all face to face sometime soon as well. Hi, Issaquah High families. My name is Jordan Frost, and I'm the new Activities Director here at Issaquah High. We are so excited to have your students join our Eagle family. Although this year is a little bit different, we still want to encourage you to get involved with clubs and activities at Issaquah High School. On the Issaquah High website, if you go to Activities Under Student Life, you will find an exhaustive list of all the clubs that we offer. They're still meeting, they're still engaging, and your student will still get great opportunities to be involved and to meet new people. So we really encourage you to jump in and go out there and see what we have to offer. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me or anyone linked on the website, and we hope to welcome you to our family soon. Go Eagles. And now you're gonna hear from some awesome current Eagles who are part of ASB. They're gonna give you some tips and advice for the coming school year. Hi, my name is Rama, and I'm going to be a sophomore here at Issaquah High School. And um, how I stayed organized during COVID and all this whole thing going on, I had a planner and I wrote everything in it. If I did not write anything in it, I would forget everything. I had to check stuff off, and that's how I kept track of my assignments, what I had to do for that day, everything like that. Um, what advice would you give a ninth grader to help them be so su successful in their high school career? Um, I would probably say to like, just be yourself and like not be like get to know everybody get to like explore go to clubs do all um like assemblies go to football games like just go out and like have fun because high school it goes by quickly <laughs> i noticed that my freshman year so it especially with covid going on you want to like get out there so you don't lose connections to everybody and you just want to explore <laughs> hey guys my name's alex bennis i'm going to be a senior next year at a squad high school and the first question that I have is, did you have any habits that were negative in an online school setting that you will change this year? That's a great question because last year we were all kind of thrown into it at the last minute and next year, luckily I have more time to plan, hopefully figure stuff out. So my thing was I really procrastinated um, when I was getting my work done. I would basically screw around the whole day and then in like the last like, you know, like nine o'clock I'd start doing my work. That was a terrible idea and I don't recommend it. Since we have a more structured setting and we have you know, an actual schedule, you're gonna have time to plan out your day and um, sort of treat it like a normal school day. Treat it like you would if you were just in the building. It's just the only difference is that you're at home on your computer. So my second question is, do you have any suggestions on how to connect to other students in our virtual environment? And I totally understand that a lot of you guys don't wanna do any like contact stuff, don't wanna do anything face-to-face. -face. You kinda wanna like stay in your house and stay safe. Totally understand that. 
Something that I did is I oftentimes would have like Zoom meetings with my friends or you know relatives. I always, even though I wasn't face to face with them, I always made sure to keep in touch. I always made sure to talk to them on a daily basis. Um, the worst thing you can do is isolate yourself. Uh, it's the worst thing you can possibly do for your mental health. So you just want to make sure you stay active with your friends, and even if you're not meeting them in person, you want to you want to somehow talk to them. And if you're like a ninth grader and you're coming in, you're like nervous for high school. I totally understand that as well. My advice to you would be. Meet who you can, like through relatives, through friends, even if you don't know a lot of people in high school, try to make as many connections as possible because once this whole thing is over and we're back at school, you're going to value the connections you made online doing what you can now. Everyone's kind of in the same boat here and you know the best thing you can do is try and make friends online, try and meet people from our school and make sure to care of those relationships when we're back in person. Hi, my name is Grace Roy, I'm going to be a senior this year. And the question is, what are some habits or study skills that helped you be successful in online class? I know for me, I had to have all my things planned out in front of me. So I used a giant whiteboard and I had it organized by day and by color. Now that works for me, but just seeing that what I had to do laid out helped me so much, especially when I was doing school to look up and see what I had to do. That can also work in the form of a smaller planner if that works for you. but. Not seeing classes face to face makes projects super hard to remember, so making sure they're all out in front of you helped me so much. My second question is how is high school different from middle school? High school is different from middle school because you have to specialize in what you like to do. In middle school there are usually two options, there's honors version of the class and the regular version of the class. In high school that's totally different. For a history class for example, there are so many options that you can pick that you think best suit your learning style and what you're interested in. And that way you get to learn a lot about what you really like to do. Um, my name is Devin and I'm going to be a senior at Issaquah this upcoming school year. Um, so my first question here is describe an extracurricular experience that has been positive at IHS. How do you think you could con uh, connect to this group now? Um, so a month or two into my freshman year, I actually joined the Issaquah Robotics Society, which is our high school's robotics team. And I've been on it for what will be now be my fourth year. Um, and I absolutely love it there. It's a really wonderful kind of family. Everyone's super connected. You can find so many friends. Um, everyone's super, duper welcoming. And we're super excited to hopefully try and get some new students this year, um, even with all of the COVID compli complications. Um, right now, most of how we're kind of contacting outside people is through our website, which is team1318.org. And so that's kind of how all of our emails and contact information is up there and you can kind of shoot someone your information if you're interested in joining. Um, and then we're doing a lot of virtual meetings. Um, so it'll be kind of hard and rough and a little bit of an awkward transition, but we really hope that you guys will stick around with us because it's tons of fun when we're actually in person. Next we have, what are some healthy behaviors that you have that are helping you cope during the time away from campus? So when school was in session, the biggest, most important thing was having a schedule. Um, so kind of waking up at the same time and then doing homework for the same amount of time, because if I didn't kind of maintain that, there was really no structure um, in my life and what I was doing. I kept two planners at the time. I had a school planner and I had um, another like event sort of calendar to keep up with what my clubs were doing virtually and what my sports were doing virtually. Um, another thing is just contact with people. Um, the first month or so of quarantine, I didn't talk to anyone, and it was kind of miserable. So just FaceTimes, calls, um, I set up Zoom calls with friends, we play like um, video games over it, stuff like that. Um, it's tons of fun and it's super duper important because you don't really notice that you're missing it until it kind of starts really tolling on you. Hello everyone, I'm Beza Chebe, I'm a rising senior at Issaquah High School, and my first question is, what do you specifically like about Issaquah High School? So what I would say, uh, these four years, I feel like what always like made me want to like go to Isqua High School is a lot of all my classmates and friends here. Uh, it has a really like nice friendly community here and uh, what Alex was saying, you can always find new people to always hang out with and always talk to. And um, I also think a lot of my teachers, a lot of my teachers are really outgoing and really helpful for any like problems I would have in class or like any questions I had. They always had like extra office hours and especially like AP classes talk, take your like office hours come after school because your teachers are really out there to help you. I remember especially during um, quarantine I had a lot of my teachers email me because like I kind of procrastinated a lot too and so they always want to check up on me to see how everything was going and they always like they really do care about you even if they don't show it they will so the teachers and a lot of the classmates is what I like about Iskwa High School. What my advice for ninth graders would be is that um, 
and it is like a new like area a new community going into high school however you are going to be with a lot of people that you already know from middle school so you should always have that kind of like idea in mind that it's like high school is just your middle school but you know there are a little bit more things about responsibility so you should stick close to the people you know not be afraid to hang out with other people always get close with your teachers because you're going to learn a lot of new material that you're not really sure of and a lot of the teachers are here to help you so that is also a really good thing and if you're also a ninth grader be open to going to games be open to going to concerts be, op be open to going to musicals there's so many things that you can do at school high school and then joining clubs there's just a lot of new ways that you can um, meet people which would really enlighten your entire high school experience Hi, I'm Vanessa Tang. I'm in 12th grade, and my question is, what are you most looking forward to when you can return to campus? Um, I'm looking most forward to seeing my teachers and my friends and being able to interact with people and kind of maintain those kind of face-to-face -face connections. My second question is, what do you specifically like about Isco High School? I like this school because it's surrounded by a pretty environment, and also all the teachers are very friendly and helpful, and there's a lot of clubs that uh, are great for anyone to fit into. Hi, my name is Doris and um, I'm going to be an upcoming junior. Um, so the question is, what advice would you give an incoming ninth grader to help them be successful in their high school career? Um, I would definitely say don't be afraid to ask for help uh, from your teachers because that's definitely very, very important. Uh, your teachers don't know where you are in um, the course necessarily so you definitely have to go to them to ask for help they don't know uh, just looking at you if you need help or not so that's definitely very important and also staying organized is very important because you have so many assignments from different classes and um, it's really hard to keep track of them sometimes so it's really important to stay organized using a planner or like a calendar so describe how you can engage with teachers virtually. Um, in terms of engaging with them virtually, I would definitely say go into their office hours. Uh, many teachers will have maybe like Zoom calls for office hours or Microsoft meetings for office hours. And if you need to reach out to them outside of office hours, definitely email them. Don't be afraid to go in and ask. Def like, they are not scary <laughs> and don't be scared to go ask them for help. All right, my question is, what is one thing that is my favorite about IHS that you all can look forward to when we're back face to face? And um, I don't have one exact favorite thing, but what my favorite thing is, is watching students uh, in the events that they personally feel connected to. So whether that's me attending one of our amazing plays or musicals and watching the student performances there and how excited those students are to just be a part of that program, or whether that's watching our robotics students hold an event here on campus, um, and which is what really gets them excited, whether that's attending a sporting event, one of our great music performances with choir, orchestra, or band, um, all those things are just watching students find something that they are passionate about and that they're connected to at IHS um, and watching them flourish in, in whatever program it is that um, they love the most. Welcome back Issaquah Eagles from the Issaquah High School Booster Club. The Booster Club is the only nonprofit that supports extracurricular activities at Issaquah High. It's also the only place you can find all that fabulous Issaquah High School logo wear. We do this in collaboration with both ASB and the Athletic Department. This year, even in the temporary remote climate we find ourselves in, the Booster Club is relevant and an important resource to our students and their extracurricular activities. We are there to motivate, inspire, bond. Sports, clubs, and activities are being planned. Grants are being requested. Logo wear is being sold, both new and old styles. Sports fee and club scholarships will be needed and senior scholarships are being planned for. So on behalf of all the teams, clubs, and activities, I hope you will support the Booster Club by becoming a member. Check out the classic and new IHS logo wear on our website. Volunteer when you see that call for help. And you're welcome to attend our meetings, first meeting being September 1st. All this information and more can be found on our website, ihsboosters.org. 
Thank you, and go Eagles! Thank you for viewing our first ever virtual new to IHS presentation. To conclude, here's a look at many of the clubs and activities your student can get involved with. Hopefully in no time, our kids will be back cheering at football games, gossiping in the halls, and back to their old normal teenage selves. Enjoy!